I am just here to welcome you all. You are always welcome to attend this very interesting class regarding the Kriya Sharira, which is a subject of first year BMS. And today we will discuss about the cardiac cycle. So just we will wait for a few minutes more so that those who want to enter into the classroom of this e-learning technology. I am very grateful to the Maharashtra University of Health Science for giving this nice opportunity to share its valuable platform to talk with you. I request all the participants to mute their mics and also stop their videos so we can enjoy the lecture more interestingly. And uh, step by step, we will go further. I think there is some process is going on still. So we will see when the signal will come from the MUHS, Maharashtra University. Yes, sir, sir, start the lecture, sir. Yes, sir. So cardiac cycle is the topic. And this is my PowerPoint presentation. So to begin with, I would like to thanks to the Vice Chancellor of MUHS, Registrar Dr. Kalidash Chavan, and all these my technical staff for giving me opportunity to share my knowledge and experience through the prestigious platform of MUHS, that is the teaching methodology. I also thanks to my principal of the college, PDES College of Ayurveda and Research Center, where I am working for the last 30 years as a HOD and professor, Professor Dr. Ragini Pati. She is a very dynamic lady and she always encourages to all the teachers for such academic activities. My dear friends, the purpose of this presentation Try to understand, my target group is only and only first year BMS students. I'm not concerned with the uh, allopathic MBBS students or homeopathic because we have the syllabus from CCRM. So try to understand. This is a revision lecture. This is an interesting point because this topic you have learned already from your respected teachers in your colleges. So I know that you know this topic, but still I am taking this division because I want to explain the topic in a very simplest manner, very easy. Again, to build up the confidence in all, all, all of you about the important, very important topic as per the CCIM, we have the syllabus. And here you can see once again, this is the topic from paper two. For the Shari with Kriya, Kriya Shari, we have the two paper for UG first year BMS, paper one and paper two. So this topic is from paper two, write down. Please write down something, paper two, part B. So this is the topic. So to explain the practical utility of this particular cardiac cycle topic in our medical practice. The topic is concerned with mainly two things. Number one, heart sounds. And number two, valvular diseases. Some interesting other practical information about the heart disease I may share if the time permits, okay? Let us move with the further slide. Favorite topic, cardiac cycle is a very favorite topic for all exam purposes. It may be the first term internal exam, second term internal exam, and now your final examination. So there will be a LAQ for 15 marks, describe cardiac cycle in detail. Number two, there may be a SAQ of five marks, write only events. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only name of the event of cardiac cycle, no description. SAQ for five marks, explain heart sounds, very important. MCQ, now the trend has been changed because of this corona pandemic. Your examinations, online examinations may be MCQ type. So you should have prepared something for MCQ. Multiple choice question. The question for only one mark. Time of the cardiac cycle, 0.8 second. You should remember perfectly. Time of different events in the cardiac cycle. Write down this particular time for different events, not only 0.8 second, but each every event. Practical examination in the oral or online examination, the question will be definitely asked about the cardiac cycle, heart sounds, what is murmur, and electrical circuit of the heart. So this is the practical utility of this topic. So as this time is allotted of only one hour and I want to share you many things, 
I will request all of you, although there is a chance to raise your hand, you can write down all your simple, big, small questions in your notebook and please mail me. I will definitely answer each and every question. But remember, this my lecture is style of must to know. There are three categories of education. Must to know, nice to know, and desirable to know. So my this lecture is type of must to know. Each and every line of this slide, you must remember by heart. Pathas karun ta. Then only you will be succeed in your practice and your exams. So, also you can refer study resources of Professor Deshpande, that is myself, on the YouTube. I have a separate YouTube channel. You can go for the playlist and you will get a lot of videos regarding your clinical examination of cardiovascular system, how to examine pulse, okay? How to do the ECG, how to do the ECG, how to interpret ECG. Lots of videos are available. Nothing to be worried about. Contents of this PPT. Electrical conducting system of the heart, mechanical events in the cardiac cycle, pumping, contraction, relaxation. Contraction, akunjana prasarana. My lecture will be in two languages, Marathi and English. So my lecture is intended for average students. Each and every student of 100 who are attending this lecture, every must be happy. Yes, now I have understood fully this cardiac cycle. I do not have any tension. Because in the paper two, there are three or four popular questions. Number one, cardiac cycle. Number two, write down, menstrual cycle. Number three, muscle contraction. And number four, any of the hormone, most probably thyroid hormone or adrenal hormone or suprarenal gland hormones, okay? Okay, we will see something about heart sounds. They are very essential with the cardiac cycle. Valvular diseases of the heart that affect the cardiac cycle. Valvular defects. Why we should keep practice of meditation? Last interesting slide. Okay, we will see what is that about meditation. Next, cardiac cycle. Content, contents of this PPT. Properties of the cardiac muscle. Definition. You will definitely ask what is the definition of cardiac cycle. Three phases of ventricular contraction. Only names you must remember. Every time you can take a snapshot by your mobile or print a screen app option. So you can have this information on this slide automatically in your mobile, okay? So three stages, three phases for ventricular contraction. Isovolumic contraction, rapid ejection phase, reduced ejection phase. Write down these three names. Five phases of ventricular relaxation. Prasarana, Vishranti, Aram, uh, relaxation. That is protodiastol, isovolumic relaxation, rapid filling phase, reduced filling phase, and last rapid filling phase. Try to understand, my dear friends, these names you must remember by yourself, by heart. Paat karavila kil tumala. I am going to explain you the meaning of this, but there are two important words. This ventricular akunchana, contraction, occurring in 0.3 second. Write down 0.3 second. How to remember in the brain? 0.3, 3 is a number. Three events are there. For the contraction, three events are important. And for relaxation, 0.5 second. Write down 0.5. So what is that 5 number? Here 5 phases are there. 0.3, 3 phases. 0.5, 5 phases. Very easy to remember. Protodiastol, isovolumic relaxation, rapid filling phase, reduced filling phase, and last rapid filling phase. I request all of you to stop your videos huh? so that it will not disturb to other people, okay? Then, here I will make the concentration on these words, ejection. Ejection is pumping, boom, boom, throwing. Ejection is throwing, but here you can see filling. Can you get the difference? Filling is tough, 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 pani barne. To fill, only filling with the gravity. And here, boom. One is throwing and another is just filling. So I can make this bold sentence for you. Filling word is important and contraction. There is always, there is always ejection. Remember these two words for contraction, 
ejection contraction ejection relaxation filling relaxation filling okay this is the picture of the heart everybody knows this is the right atrium this is the left atrium right ventricle left ventricle each student must know this basic anatomy otherwise you will not understand cardiac cycle first two three four four chambers are there this atrium you have already studied in 12th standard they are only filling chambers receiving blood but these are ventricles are boom pumping why to pump the blood why to pump the blood because this impure blood from here right ventricle with the help of pulmonary artery here can you see pulmonary artery it is going for purification you know this purification in the lungs am i right from the lungs that purified blood comes here am i right this is the left atrium from atrium here comes the left ventricle and from ventricle through the aorta for each and every part of the body from head to toe that's why it should have some pressure it should have some pressure to throw ejection so here is the ejection do you understand here also ejection because it has to throw the blood to the lungs but here from here to here try to speed valve remember valve is a i always give the ha darwaza hai valve is a door and opening only on one side and the people go it automatically shuts when the people enters into the another room it shuts automatically it's like a door valve is a one sided door write down valve is a one sided door this is tricuspid valve this is bicuspid valve and here for the aorta for the aorta can you see here our aorta here it is aorta ha huh? here here arch of the aorta here from it is coming like this see my arrow see my arrow this is aorta and from aorta all over the body this is the biggest artery huh so here is a semi lunar valve and also for the pulmonary artery can you see pulmonary artery here pulmonary artery has a semi lunar valve so this is tricuspid this is bicuspid valve and semi lunar valve these names four valves you must remember okay next actually you must remember heart is giving blood to the body but for the working purpose heart should receive the blood so heart is receiving oxygen nutrient through the coronary artery don't forget this name who is supplying the blood to the heart this is the important question for oral who is supplying nutrients to the heart coronary artery right and left and there are the blockages and because of the blockage heart attack myocardial infarction huh? so this is regarding left coronary artery you see my cursor right coronary artery two arteries are very important for the heart attack and coronary arteries supply blood to the heart now this is conducting system of the heart or electrical circuit it is asked in the oral examination this is ac node here the current starts current electrical current then from ac node to the av node then from here to the bundle of his here here see the cursor bundle of his this is the name of scientist right the bundle of branch and left the bundle of branch my dear friends why electric electrical circuit is important because of this electrical activity we are getting cardiac cycle so what is the reason of cardiac cycle electrical current and electrical current is generated here i am sitting in my room and there is a electricity and my fan is going on my some tube light is on so that electricity is going and event is happening with the fan my fan is rotating these are the mechanical event rotation cycle what is meant by cycle the same things coming again and again and again and again and again that is called as a cycle so cycle is always indicating repetitive action in a coordinated and rhythmic manner repetitive action but basic reason for cardiac cycle is conducting system another important we are going to discuss that further this is the property heart is a automatic rhythmic contraction generally over this skeletal muscle if i want to move my hands there should be current from my brain motor neuron and they do the action of my hands or the legs 
but heart it is such a muscle it doesn't require any current from outside heart is a powerful organ it generates its own current own current that's why it is called as automatic aise nor you know this cell physiology when action has to take place there should be depolarization resting membrane potential and depolarization when sodium and the positive negative ions they exchange then the current starts action potential when there is a depolarization write down this word depolarization takes place here please write it down asa nor why it is taking depolarization normal leakage of sodium normal leakage of sodium okay next what is definition of the cardiac cycle these are the sequence of coordinated events coordination is one very important these cardiac cycle events are taking place in the heart during each heart beat each heart beat these all the events are taking place each heart beat consists of two major things one is the systole systole makes the contraction of the chambers see my hands contraction dabaise aplyala so ejection will take place but kaam dhalyanantar after you finish your work ha you want to relax you want to relax so that is diastole systole is a active functioning diastole is a resting phenomena diastole is a minimum pressure aplya dokyala tanat nahi gharamade pavne aale if you have the wedding function any ganpati utsav anything lot of people come to your house and when they go back to their home after function the host yajman he feel oh my god now i will relax for few seconds few minutes few days but cardiac muscles cannot relax for more time just very little time okay but that relaxation is called as a diastole and active functioning is a systole the normal number of cardiac cycles per minute ranges from 60 to 80 huh? for example your pulse what is the normal rate of pulse 75 per minute on an average in an adult this is for example 75 per minute so each cycle consists of 0.8 second how this number has come point at kasa kay kadlo baba he 75 bits huh? that means 75 type times events cardiac cycle is going on in 60 seconds so for one bit okay how much time will require for one event of cardiac cycle how much time 0.8 second because in 60 second 75 times cardiac cycle takes place 75 times cardiac cycle takes place so in for one cardiac cycle there is time is 0.8 second these numbers are for you people you have to remember for your exam ventricular contraction 0.3 second akunchana in marathi ventricular relaxation 0.5 second okay 0.3 three events 0.5 five events don't forget this my uh, interesting part somebody will ask sir here you are not mentioning atrial contraction atrial relaxation don't worry my dear friends don't worry atrial contraction atrial relaxation is there i am not saying it is not there but they are for practical purpose very less important because they just do the feeling and we want the blood to the whole body that's why ventricles are more important than atria right on this sentence ventricles are more important so ventricular events are more important than atrial events don't forget this my say so what are the three phases isovolumic or isometric contraction rapid ejection phase and reduced ejection phase again try to understand whenever there is a word contraction don't forget the word ejection my dear friend this is very important i will make it again contraction bold i will make okay contraction ejection akunchana dhalya barobar when the chambers are pressed they throw away the blood whatever they have collected whatever they have received from the atrium it is thrown away okay so isovolumic our isometric contraction we are going to discuss one sentence for each event rapid ejection phase and reduced ejection phase and what is relaxation oh my god i will relax proto diastole 
proto you have to remember this name proto diastol means preparation of relaxation preparation it is not a scientific word not scientific translation dr deshpande always try to speak by which the students can understand the concept there are two things one is understanding and second is interpretation so this lecture is for understanding purpose so sometimes i use very casual words that should not be written in the exam in the exam you must write down only whatever in the ppt okay so proto proto is preparation of relaxation proto proto preparation iso volumic or isometric iso means same write down please write down iso is equal to same the blood volume is same and the length of the fiber length of the fiber is the same in that particular event in that particular stage in that particular phase iso is equal to same s a m e same for example this just look for one second iso desh pande is not moving he is the same not before not after now he is moving so iso is the same thing that is continuous for that particular point 11 seconds of that phase next is a rapid filling phase again filling right filling from up to down with the gravity filling reduced filling that is also called as a diastasis rapid last rapid filling phase that is coinciding with atrial contraction and we are going to start with this word atrial contract and we will end our whole events in this word we will start with atrial contraction and we will complete these three and these five and again we will reach here do you understand what i mean like okay. it okay like let, let us start atrial contraction i am starting during the period of ventricular relaxation do you understand it when the ventricles are empty all the pumping area all the gas have gone blood has thrown away in the whole body and ventricles say okay i am relaxing but that at that time atria are filled from the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava is coming the blood in the right atrium and in the left atrium purified blood is coming from the lungs so upper collecting chambers upper collecting chamber are filling are filling okay and due to the gravity almost all the blood has now coming into the ventricles but there is a last drop remaining blood is not coming from atrium to ventricle so atria say okay mm, mm, go down so atria will contract and last try, try to understand 75% of the blood flows into ventricles this is a passive flow due to the gravity but both the atria contract simultaneously and pump remaining 25% actually 75% blood pani chamber chamber gal all drops are coming blood is coming from atrium to ventricle 75% due to gravity but the last drop has to squeeze atria is pressing and that remaining 25 blood is now coming into the ventricle in this phase atrial contraction are you getting what is atrial contraction this is the last rapid filling phase last rapid filling phase because of the atrial contraction so these two events are having just another name but the things are same why the last rapid filling because of the atrial contraction okay now this figure is every after one slide don't get afraid you don't draw this figure 100 times in your exam only one time now i am saying you here right atrium right ventricle the blood has always coming from superior vena cava inferior vena cava and pulmonary vein here purified blood is coming here impure blood is coming okay now what is happening in this atrial contraction again see this thing remaining 25% is coming here from right atrium to the left atrium from right ventricle to the left ventricle this is according to the gravity but last phase is because of the force of this atria okay next atrial systole is not essential for the maintenance of circulation i have already told it is just filling many persons with atrial fibrillation survive for any many years without suffering from circulatory insufficiency however such person feels difficult to cope up with physical stress like exercise 
try to understand for our physiology maintenance of the uh, blood to whole body ventricles are more important remember this sentence okay next atrial contraction contraction of the atrial musculature causes the production of fourth heart sound which is very very rare write down fourth heart sound nothing to be worried forget it is very rare in your practice now this is more interesting ventricular contraction is most important how many th events three events pressure of the blood in ventricle start rising because all the blood from atrium has come and that pressure in the ventricle is more than the atrium so all blood is there all the people are coming inside so what will happen past doors will be closed atrio ventricular valves closes now ventricles are saying i am full don't send any blood to me to the atrium and so he closes the doors the atrial ventricular valve closes and whenever valve closes it creates the sound so this is the first heart sound it is most important in your exam it will be asked it will be asked what is that they will ask do you understand what is the reason for first heart sound you must say that in ventricular contraction is av valves they closes and so it is the first heart sound now first phase isovolemic or isometric contraction what is happened blood has reached to the ventricle the doors are closed now further doors semilunar valves are not opened aorta is not opened pulmonary artery is not opened so back doors are closed and further doors are closed here are the chambers ventricles so they are now closed from both sides back and front are you getting my point from back and front both the doors are closed and ventricles are full of blood so that particular thing is called isovolemic or isometric contraction av valve closed but semilunar valves are not yet opened hence ventricular chambers are sealed from both atria and arteries aorta and pulmonary artery so volume of the blood and length of muscle fibers remains same this word is important iso means same iso is equal to same write down this word iso i will make it red here you see iso iso same hence the name why the name is iso volume blood volume and length of the muscle fibers of ventricles is same for the whole event is same for the whole event maybe point 11 seconds but it is fixed that's why iso volume okay next ventricles contract as they close the chambers it trying oh i am full i am full and pressure rises rapidly because it is oh my god i am congested open the door open the door like the traveling in the local train of the bombay or pune to lonawala i am talking about maharashtra state okay so the local is full of people full of people and they want that the station must come and we should throw away so ventricles contract as they close the chamber and pressure rises rapidly when the left ventricle pressure is greater than 80 you must remember these figures and right ventricle pressure is greater than 8 only this is 80 and this is 8 mm of hg then ventricular pressure pushes semilunar valves to open leading to the ejection of blood from the ventricle to the aorta and pulmonary artery this occurs in 0.05 seconds this event this event is 0.05 i am just saying that now it is ready ready to eject it is not actually ejected now next phase but first then ventricular pressure pushes semilunar valves to open leading to the ejection of blood from the ventricles into the aorta and pulmonary artery this event isovolemic contraction occurs in 0.05 seconds okay next we will go further do you understand these valves are closed because whole blood has come over these valves aorta valve and this is not open so this is the closed chamber and pressure has rised when this is 80 mm of hg and this is 8 mm of hg what will happen rapid ejection phase blood is rapidly ejected two third two third of the stroke volume is ejected at this time the pressure in the left ventricle you understand here here the pressure 
फ्रॉम एटी टू वन ट्वेंटी स्पोर्ट होना मराठी साथ फेकल जाने एज बोथ वेन्ट्रिकल ऑलमोस्ट इजेक्ट द सेम वॉल्यूम वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द राइट वेन्ट्रिकल इजेक्शन इज लेस दैन द लेफ्ट वेन्ट्रिकुलर इजेक्शन This event occurs point eleven seven. Now see this. Now this atrium is throwing the blood ejection for the pulmonary artery. Now this connection, lung connection, is very near. From heart, lung is on the side. But here, left ventricle, it has to same amount of blood has to throw from here to my foot. So naturally, velocity will be more over here than velocity here. Velocity means speed. How to reach over it? Because it has just to reach the lungs, and it has reached to the. Do you understand this sentence? What I have written over here? Okay. So velocity of right ventricular ejection is less than velocity of the left ventricular ejection. Okay. Just I will take up. Very interesting. What is ejection? How you can understand ejection? When we break up that liquor, first it booms. This is the fire crack in the Diwali vacation, Bhuinola. In the beginning, when this Bhuinola is full of that your daru, huh, that material, it boom. But afterwards, that intensity goes down. Ejection intensity goes down. Do you understand? Intensity of ejection. That's why this is reduced ejection phase. Reduced ejection phase. First pressure is lower down. Okay, in this phase, remaining twenty five percent, remaining one third of the systole, rate of ejection decline. Ejection is slower. Rest one third stroke volume is ejected. Ventricular pressure falls. Ventricular pressure because blood has gone to the aorta. Blood has gone to the pulmonary artery. So ventricles are little bit okay. All gas have gone. Blood has gone. So it will start to relax. So. Pressure of the blood becomes low in these chambers, but due to the momentum, blood continues to empty into the aorta. Do you understand? First, there is the pressure. Suppose I am throwing my car in on the road. The land plane is carrying us that no toy. So due to the momentum, I have released my pressure, but due to the momentum, it goes slowly still more. So due to the momentum also. The blood is continuing to go into the aorta. Do you understand? So here I am showing again. This is rapid ejection phase, and afterwards more blood goes to the aorta. So remaining is a reduced ejection phase. Momentum decreases, and kinetic energy of momentum is converted to the pressure of aorta. Now where will be the pressure? Where will be the pressure? Ventricular pressure has reduced, but it has giving pressure to the Aorta, so aortic pressure, arch of the aorta pressure will increase. It's but natural. So aortic pressure is slightly greater than the ventricle. What will happen? All people have gone to the aorta, so back door will be closed. You understand? Back door, that is semilunar valve, will be closed. Okay. Here I will explain you. These semilunar valves they have opened because of the pressure on the left ventricle. But now the blood has gone. So what will happen? This pressure is no more. All the people have all the blood has gone. So these valves will be closed. Huh? Valve will be closed. Okay. Next, proto diastole. After three events, now relaxation has started. Ventricular relaxation. First proto diastole. Preparation. After systole, ventricle starts relaxing. Oh, all guests have gone. Rapid fall of intraventricular pressure. Rapid fall. Elevated pressure in the blood in the aorta and pulmonary artery pushes blood back towards the ventricle, which snaps semilunar valve, and second heart sound is created. When semilunar valve closed, second heart sound is created. This is very important. When atrioventricular valve closed, first heart sound. When semilunar valve closed. Second heart sounds okay. Proto diastole. Now what is happened? These valves are closed. These valves are already closed. Huh? So again there is a seal, no entry from here also not to here. Both the doors are closed. 
before contraction the doors were closed and before relaxation the doors are again closed so they are taking the rest ventricle for few seconds they are taking the rest that is proto diastole this is isovolumic or isometric relaxation diastole is relaxation ventricles are closed chambers because av valve and seminilateral valve both are closed so this one time you have heard isovolumic or isometric contraction do you remember but that time ventricles were full now ventricles are no no blood is there so they are quite relaxed so this is isovolumic relaxation what is happening rapid fall of pressure inside the ventricle from 80 mm of hg you remember this figure 80 mm of hg if the left ventricle it because of no blood is there pressure will be 2 to 3 mm of hg in the left ventricle drop down pressure is drop down ventricles volume remains constant as it is maybe uh, uh, remaining the blood is there so that volume is remains the same for few seconds so in the name isovolumic or isometric relaxation when ventricular pressure falls this is very important below the atrial pressure av valves open do you understand that means now they are empty but here is the pressure so atrium says oh i am full take my blood i am full i am restless so atrium are pushing these doors they are knocking open 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 knock knock tick tock so they try to open these valves atrioventricular valves okay what is happening the valves open and then rapid filling fails during the ventricular systole uh, av valves are closed but superior and inferior vena cava and pulmonary vein continue to empty the blood into the atrium so in the large amount of blood accumulate in the atrium and atrial pressure is big that is why av valves open and then high atrial pressure causes blood to flow rapidly see my hands due to the gravity rapidly into the ventricles that's why rapid filling phase it is not ejection it is filling phase okay next after rapid filling when the first flow comes there is a reduced flow of the blood so it is called as a reduced the filling phase another scientific name diastasis blood continues to return to the heart so pressure in the atria and ventricles rise slowly during rapid and reduced filling phase previous and this phase 95% of the blood passes from atria to the ventricle only because of gravitational force write down this word filling is because of gravity gurutvakarshana from high pressure to the low pressure is not ejection it is filling it is filling the word is very important when this is a very interesting picture when the your perforation opens the water tap to begin with it's very fast flow but after few hours that stops the coughs and your flow becomes reduced so this is a rapid filling and this is reduced the filling phase just for interesting i am giving these examples okay the next cycle begins with the atrial contraction as i have told you that what is happening because this is again the phase of atrial contraction because the remaining 20 30% atria says oh little blood has little blood is there so i will press i will give the example of some pichku tomato ketchup वगैरे आणतो की नाही आपण घरामध्ये ते पिचको असतो बघा ते प्लास्टिक चेचत असतो इट्स अ फिल्ड इन प्लास्टिक बॅग दैट टोमॅटो केचप एंड व्हेन यू ओपन व्हेन इट इज फुल ऑल द टोमॅटो केचप कम्स ऑन योर ब्रेड आफ्टर दैट द फ्लो बिकम्स स्लो व्हेन इट इज 50% रिमेनिंग फ्लो बिकम्स स्लो एंड व्हेन इट इज ओनली 10 20 इट इज नॉट कमिंग बट वी आर वेरी स्टिंजी इन द आवर नेचर आपण कन्फ्यूज असतो व्हॉट वी डू वी प्रेस that tomato ketchup bag for the last drop so that pulling that pressing that tomato ketchup bag is like this last rapid filling phase that is the atrial contraction because it requires some pressure previously it was automatic because gravitation now it is the pressure so this is more important in alaq long answer question you will have to draw this figure huh? so you can see this is the atrial systole Inner circle is atrium, 
and outer circle is ventricle so ventricular systole or the contraction this is total 0.8 second am i right circle so divide 0.4 0.4 here and 0.4 here and then you have to subdivide this but this figure you must need to understand very carefully sitting in a quiet room and then try to write uh, names and the period for that you understand it is very very easy to job but i am not having the time to explain all this figure but it is very essential for your laq you must draw this figure okay so with 0.8 seconds as the cardiac cycle time with heart rate as 75 the time relations of the various events are as follows this is for your mcq purpose atrial systole 0.1 second atrial diastole 0.7 second but these are less important Ventric ventricular events. Systole is 0.3 second. You also remember, for, at least for exam purpose, not for your practice. But this you must remember for MCQ purpose. Then ventricular diastole. Diastole is always ha. Huh, one more important thing. Write down this thing. Coronary arteries fill. Write down coronary arteries fill in diastole only. Ventricular diastole phase at that time. when the ventricles are relaxing coronary arteries are providing nutrients to the heart so when coronary arteries are working in the ventricular diastole or relaxation phase so this phase is very important for the coronary filling so again you can see this electrical current can be noted by ecg electrocardiogram as everybody knows that p q r s t p indicates the atrial contraction write down p atrial contraction then this is here a little bit red is there qrs write down qrs complex ventricular contraction this is p contra p atrial contraction qrs complex ventricular systole ventricular contraction and this this t wave ventricular relaxation ventricular relaxation so these are the interpretation of electrical wave what is ecg it is a graphical record of electrical activities of the heart so this p wave atrial contraction qrs complex up to here ventricular contraction and t wave ventricular relaxation or diastole this is inverted when there is a heart attack t is inverted and st segment is elevated all these ecgs are there on my youtube so please go to the youtube okay so heart sounds regarding cardiac cycle heart sounds and its types first heart sounds due to the closure of atrio ventricular valves this is must mcq second heart sounds due to the closure of semi lunar valve this will be asked only two sounds are very much important forget about third and fourth sound although i am giving the information but it is not useful in your medical practice third heart sound is inaudible can be heard by microphone very rarely heard in physiology it is due to the rushing of blood into the ventricle and vibration sets up in the ventricular valve during the rapid filling phase but examiner may ask you when he asks how many heart sounds are there don't answer two you should answer four heart sounds and next answer sir first and second heart sounds are more important in the medical practice and third and fourth are very rarely heard this is your answer okay next when you want to auscultate auscultation is very much important to diagnose the problems in cardiac cycle write down this sentence how you can examine cardiac cycle problems write down how you can examine by auscultation with the stethoscope okay so it is a comparison of first heart sound and second heart sound this is because of the atrial ventricular valve close this is because semi lunar valve close this is occurs in ventricular systole this is in ventricular diastole this is because of vibrations in the aorta and pulmonary arteries this is regurgitation in the regurgitation means to coming back in the aorta and pulmonary arteries this is lup this is dup lup dup lup dup lup dub lub dub this shh, this is called as a abnormal heart sound can you see my action can you see me how i am doing lub dub 
प्रैक्टिकल Base third at the apex, fifth left intercostal space. This is second heart sound. Base third at base, that is second right intercostal space. Base third by diaphragm of the stethos and base third by the bell part of the stethos. Huh? This first heart sounds coincide with the carotid pulse. This second heart sound comes after carotid pulse. Okay, let us move further. Auscultation areas. This is asked in your journal. Open your journal after my lecture. This is a practical for your heart sounds. So these are the areas where you must auscultate. Mitral area located at the apex. Tricuspid area. Fourth intercostal space, just lateral to the sternum. Sternum is the mid portion. Okay, just lateral. Aortic area, second right costal cartilage. Pulmonary area. Second left intercostal space, just lateral to the sternum. My dear friends, in the beginning I am making my hand. Remember, very tricky question. These valves are not located over here. Whole heart valves are behind the sternum, behind the sternum. But you are examining at the apex because sound coming from that valve is better heard in this position. Valves are not here. Write down. Valves are not here. All valves are behind the sternum. Write down. Very important. It is a misconception in the mind of student. You are examining in these places the sound of the valve because that sound is transferred from that valve to that area properly. Very significant. Okay. Cardiac cycle in the medical practice. When doctor auscultates the chest. For the heart sound, he examines cardiac cycles, and he examines whether valves are functioning properly or not. If systole and diastole are occurring properly,
फाइनल वीडियो आपको मन लग यस हाँ ठीक है मतलब तो बड़े से विद्यार्थी है इस बारे ठीक है ओके माय डियर फ्रेंड्स यस अगेन आई एम बैक फॉर हियर सो फ्यू मोर स्लाइड्स आई वांट टू शेयर फॉर नेक्स्ट टेन मिनट्स दीज आर द वर्बुलर डिफेक्ट्स Why you must remember this is metro stenosis is nowadays also is very common. This is a complication of rheumatic fever, and you try to understand there are mainly three types of the arthritis in your practice: the childhood arthritis, the middle age arthritis, and the old age arthritis. So childhood arthritis is a rheumatic fever or rheumatic arthritis when the big joints are affected, and that is very well curable by penicillin. But The this is occurring in the poor slum area, unhygienic places, and these people are not aware of the management or the treatment to take completely. And this is a complication that mitral valve they get affected because of the rheumatic fever, and mitral stenosis causes the murmur. Remember, aortic stenosis is very common due to the atherosclerosis in the old people because of the lipid dyslipidemia. Mitral regurgitation. They, what is the difference? Stenosis is nearly ninety percent scarring. or the fibrotic changes in the valves so there is nearly no complete closing of that door so more of the part as door not doing the hemodynamics properly pressure differences are not getting proper and that creates the problem in the health because pressure will be increased in the ventricles pressure will be increased in the left ventricle right ventricle so all these problems starts because of this stenosis or regurgitation regurgitation it's coming back the some blood is because these are the weak valves are weak these are valves are totally damaged these valves are weak and some blood mixing or coming back not going totally and not stopping completely that door okay but first two are more common remaining two are not more common okay mitral stenosis the most common thing in both the diseases dyspnea will be there palpitation and hemoptysis blood in the sputum so here on auscultation first heart sound is short sharp and accentuated and mid diastolic murmur will be there so i am just going fast because these are the again maybe big lecture regarding the cardiac problems but what i want to tell you regarding the cardiac cycle heart sounds are important and valvular defects are more important that you should write as a applied physiology of that cardiac cycle in your examination write down in your answers also aortic stenosis as aorta cannot flow the blood fully so syncope will be there due to the low cardiac output a typical angina angina is a pain okay next early diagnosis is important so whenever my dear students you find that in auscultation lup dup or lup dup any abnormal murmur or heart sound you must ask the patient to do the 2d echography okay So 2D echo is very much important. 